stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. I know you all know how much I love 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 flowers and the petal garden suite is just absolutely stunning. As soon as I saw the catalog I knew I had to get the products in that catalog. Um, here let me just show you. This is what it looks like in the catalog and you might notice that some of my samples look similar to some of these. For example this one here is where I got the inspiration for this card here. So I mixed it up and used a little bit of my own flair. And then of course the items in the catalog are the ribbons, the designer paper, the fabulous stamp set, the uh, embossing folder, as well as one of the memories and more packs. So here I just wanted to show you some of the samples that I created using those amazing products. Let me bring in Graceful Garden is the stamp set, which I just love the I Adore You. I just think that's like such a cute greeting and everything. And then of course the gorgeous flowers and that awesome background, which gives a little bit of texture to your card without actually adding texture. And then there's the greeting for you, which is perfect for, you know, just an all occasion card or for a treat or gift or anything like that. Then there's the embossing folder, which is this trellis embossing folder, garden trellis. And let's see, you can see it there. I did it in pool party. And I also wanted to show, I actually did another one in Wisteria Wonder and then I ended up not using it for my project, but I ended up ripping it. And you can see that all these pieces, you could just add a little bit of that ripped embossed look on the bottom of one of your projects. So for example, you could do, you know, something like this that would look super, super cute. So don't forget that there's always the option to um, emboss a piece of cardstock, but then to also rip it and add a little bit more of that texture and everything to it. So I plan on using these for another project. I ended up not using them for the intended one that I uh, created it for, but you can see there's that gorgeous, uh, like filigree, just image um, on the background, super soft and fabulous looking. And then I want to show you the designer paper. So the designer paper has um, a lot of the blue and green, which is Pool Party and Old Olive, but then it has the two accent colors of the purple and the coral. So the purple is actually um, Elegant Eggplant and the coral is of course Calypso Coral. There's also some of the fresh fig and the different shades of purple in there. So you could really use any shade of purple that you wish, like Wisteria Wonder, Elegant Eggplant, um, probably Rich Razzleberry. You could probably use that for some of it as well. So you can see that there's all these purple and blue shades. Some of them have fabulous and gorgeous flowers on it, whereas some of them are just in all around background pattern. I just, I'm just super loving it. Um, so this one you could use this piece up here for just those dots, but then you could use this down on the corner. And then of course they're all double sided so they have that gorgeous look too. So then here's some of the coral pages which of course I used some more of the coral for these two cards too. So now let's flip them all over and see the back side. So you can see there's more of those flowers. Some of them have both the coral and the purple. A lot of the green backgrounds too so those are great to use um, for using a green background and then having a colored flower on the front that really pops. So there's a lot of the designer paper that is a 6x6 stack that the designer series paper pack comes in. So it's um, 48 sheets and there's all these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Some of the other items I wanted to show you that I created using some of this suite is this was a card that I created that had a gorgeous rose on the front. I uh, used it for a card for my cousin who just uh, earned the title of Miss Green County. So I was super excited and I wanted to make her a gorgeous rose card. So that one took me like almost all day and I had a lot of different samples that I used until I finally had the right one. So the inside of the card had the roses all along there with some of the greenery and that used the um, these two pieces. 
And then here's one of the roses that I created for her card but didn't use. I fussy cut it out, um, which I love, but then, I don't know, it just didn't seem right. didn't seem to pop on my um, project as much, and fussy cutting it wasn't really the most fun. Uh, then there's this one where I gold embossed the rose, and then I watercolored it with Emerald Envy and Elegant Eggplant. So you can see, you can um, kind of color that in. This one I just did in copper embossing. Uh, powder and then used some of that Calypso Coral Ombre ribbon which is just gorgeous. This one I used the image to stamp in the background to make sort of a background look and then added some of the roses using the circle layering framelits. Um, I added that greeting there with a little bit of the white ribbon. And then this one I super, super love. This one actually uses a one and a half inch circle punch and I just punched out a whole bunch of circles from the designer series paper and used those different ones for all of those circles. Then I did the um, circle layering circle framelits to do that scallop there. For this I did actually stamp it and then fussy cut it out so I did that one in Elegant Eggplant and Old Olive and fussy cut it and then sort of like interlocked them and uh, placed it underneath so it was peeking out but that one was much easier to fussy cut but I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit on the Petal Garden Suite so you could see all the amazing things that you can do with it and show off some samples. Of course, I'll be posting these samples on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check those out there. They will have all the information for how I created the card on there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, and check out some of my other videos down below on some up close and personals on product suites or specific products. I'll see you all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.